This tutorial is going to teach you how to defragment your hard drive and why it is important to do so. Your hard drive interacts with your CPU or your central processing unit, which affects multitasking and the overall speed of your computer. If your hard drive is not defragmented, this whole process will take longer and your computer will slow down. Basically, defragmenting means putting all the information on your hard drive closer together. Your hard drive works on a spindle and it searches for the information in a circular motion. So when the information is closer, it will be able to access it sooner and faster and this will provide you with an increased speed boost. Now I would suggest defragmenting your hard drive at least once a month because once you delete anything in your hard drive, the potential for information to be far apart is great. So you want to push that information closer and make it easier for a hard drive to find everything on it. That's the beauty of defragmenting. It speeds up your hard drive and creates a better computing experience for you. So let's get right into it. Let's click on the start menu on the left and then on my computer. Next we want to determine which hard drive is our main drive that we use or which hard drive has the most has everything that we use daily on it. You can check how much is each is on each hard drive. Your main hard drive will be the hard drive with more space on it. So if we want to check that we'll right click on the hard drive and click on properties. As you can see I've used up 94.7 gigabytes of my 160 gigabyte hard drive. If you're wondering why the numbers don't add up, that's because I've partitioned my hard drive or separated it into multiple multiple hard drives. So this hard drive will be around 130 gigabytes and my other partition will be a 30 gigabyte partition. Now that we know that this local disk C is my main hard drive, we'll click on tools and under defragmentation we'll select defragment now. And once this screen pops up, we want to analyze our C drive, so make sure it's highlighted. And we'll analyze it. The computer will tell you if this disk needs to be defragmented. And it says I should defragment this volume. You can view the report. It tells you all the information about your hard drive that you want to know. And I want to defragment it. So click defragment. This process does take a very long time. I would say it takes close to, in my experience, at least half an hour. Half an hour to an hour. Um, the, the times really vary depending how much, how recently you have defragmented. So I'm going to go forward and show you the end screen when your actual hard drive is defragmented. Our defragmentation is finally complete. This took me approximately an hour and 20 minutes so you can you can definitely bank on it being an hour to two hours for your disk defragmenter to complete. It says that some of the files could not be defragmented. Don't be scared off by this message. When you have a certain operating system such as Windows XP, um, the operating system puts certain files on your hard drive that cannot be removed. So do not be nervous about that message, it's just the operating system files that can't be removed. We can view the report now. In the defragmentation report for my C drive I can see that how many files were defragmented and right here under the total fragmented files you can see that only five I only had five fragmented files or files that needed to be moved over so that the information could be closer together. This is because I defragmented pretty recently but if you don't defrag recently then you will definitely have more files that are fragmented. You can either print it, you can save it or you can just close it. I'm just going to close it but that's defragmenting your hard drive, and I'll see you next time.